As I introduce you to the second part of this video, I would just like to remind you of some of the events that will have taken place prior to the use of potato harvesters as the season progresses. Great care is taken when unloading into the bins. Next stop for these potatoes will be Peacock 2, which after its extension in November 2008 has a floor area of 92,624 square feet and is, not surprisingly, the largest of Jersey Royal's three packing stations. For each load that arrives, a random sample of 100 tubers is taken and washed after which they undergo a meticulous inspection. Any with defects are noted so as to be able to give that consignment a quality score to help determine how it will proceed in the packing process, which is why these bins are receiving distinctive barcoded labels before they are loaded into the arrival cooler. Following the pack house manager's instructions, Particular bins can then be loaded onto the main grader. Every effort is made to identify imperfections. This bin from the main grader is destined to go to the new wash plant. The loader waits for verification before proceeding. The bin is loaded onto one of the two main barrel washers. Here you can see the end of the main grader in the distance. The main difference between these washers and the two in other locations on site is that the packing line served by them will go on to produce a sealed product ready to put directly onto the supermarket shelf which cuts out an extra process that would normally have to be carried out on the mainland. This is one of the four pre-packed lines in action. It has the latest weighing technology guaranteeing the correct pack weight. The response from the marketplace of having this product pre-packed on the island, fresh from the field, has been extremely positive, with independent off-the-shelf benchmarking consistently putting this company's packs top of the table. From the wide-ranging packs produced, say 500 grams washed and sealed to one-ton bolt bags, the computer will print out a barcoded label which will accompany it on its journey. Indeed, using Jersey Royal's in-house produced IT systems, it is now possible to accurately trace from shop shelf back to field. This technology also helps to ensure a viable positive release procedure. As you would expect, there is now also extra capacity to temporarily store stock awaiting shipment instruction. This conveyor is used in preference to forklift to transport cargo across the pack house. The new Peacock 2 layout has a more efficient loading area for the maximum size Arctic units allowed on Jersey roads for the short journey down to the Ferry Speed Harbour terminal where they are loaded onto mainland sized refrigerated 40 foot trailers. At the season height the company exports about 1000 tonnes a day in this way. Portsmouth's ferry speed depot is the last main link before the produce is redistributed to our many customers. As each movement is scanned it is possible back in the Jersey headquarters to see a live overview of what is happening to the exported crop. A truly invaluable tool. 
Of course, the main aim is to get the potatoes to their final destination in as fresh condition as possible. Now, the only sound I would like to hear is a simmering saucepan of Jersey water. While most people prefer them au naturel, in this case Mrs. Pershard has added a knob of Jersey butter. Mmm, -hmm. simply delicious.